Hello and welcome to my channel. Natalia here. If you stop by here first time, please consider to subscribe because I have lots of good videos, tutorials, tips and tricks on any craft. But today particularly we will talk about, as you see of the title of my video, it's what to do if your diamond paint and canvas not sticky. Sometimes what happen if any of you maybe drink some morning coffee and then you decide to place next to your canvas and then you tip over and your canvas is ruined because till you dab it out water and stuff like the coffee off your canvas, the canvas is not sticky anymore. Well, any drink, you know, maybe you like to drink some wine. So I'm gonna put my coffee aside and I was doing some experiment about what to do and how to fix and somebody suggested to do double-sided tape some ladies told me today in my group they're using a double-sided tape from dollar store and to tell you the truth it's not strong enough I think because uh, let me get some history back years from now I used to be on a paper design team craft and I was like on a six teams making the cards all those paper craft and I used lots of those double sided tape with years past the tape losing his ability of being sticky and now some of my cards is falling apart so it's not really good thing to do I guess double sided um, tape not strong enough if you buy it from dollar store the Michael store double sided uh, tape it's much stronger but it's very expensive and you're probably wondering what this box doing in here and I'm gonna show you what's in it would you like to see it <laughs> okay I'm being very goofy today I don't know why but I'm in a very good mood guys so in here my treasure from years ago when I was on a design team I have lots of rubber stamps and here is my case okay and here you can see I have tons and tons of stamps so this is rubber stamps and they don't have a wood support like you would buy at the store wooden block support to stamp so this is we are coming to them and painting but this is important so as you see this is sheets from baseball cards and this stamps particularly uh, sentiments it's outside of the bag and you see this they stay on the top of the sheet so why they not fall out and I put up there uh, I can show you a little bit closed up I put sentiment uh, words on the back so I know which stamp says what this all stamps is a sweet pea stamps I used to be on a um, design team of sweet pea stamps and I have a whole bunch of uh, this rubber stamps and as you see this rubber stamps I used to put them like this sentiment it's inside of the pocket this one is outside and it's not it's not falling out why you see that it's sticky it's tucky and if I put just for example because I cannot remember now guys where is my stamping block so just as example, I'm going to put on a broken mirror, fallout handle, my fancy mirror. So if I put in here, this is not going to fall out. This is not falling out. It's stuck. You see that? But it's coming out easily. So I just place back in here and it stay. So this was a trick from long time ago. When I was crafting, 
Well, I still gonna be crafting back. I just need to get the diamond painting out of me a little bit. So, why they stick to the sheet and not falling out? Okay, so we have a solution for that. Here it is. Guys, it's a... Here's the close-up. Tack it over and over. Temporary hold. Great for application for the trims and, you know, fabric, stuff like that. But also, it's great for every crafters. So, what I did for the stamps... I work with them outside. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so what I did, I'm just gonna put this box aside and take one stamp out. Okay, okay, just like that. So I I brought outside my crafting uh, measure, like a, a mat, you know, those rubber mats for crafters. I put all my steps here is the front I put them all like this then I grab this um, glue you need some brushes this is my cheap uh, organizer for brushes if you like to see my tutorial of storage that I have like a cheap tutorial that you can find at home I will link uh, on the end of this video on a pop-up video you will see it so all you need is a brush kind of flat this is corner one but you can find this bigger one like for example I have just a minute like I have this is just a from a dollar store see how it's kind of flat brush but it's big for now for us so you can use little one because, for example, your canvas probably not um, not uh, whole pieces like uh, non-sticky. Sometimes it could be just a little tiny spot. So what I did, I put this glue uh, and I spread it out tiny. Well, you can squish it out a little bit in some container, and you just wrap this glue on your rubber right and I did one good thick coat for the stamp because it need to be stick to the glass and it's kind of you know it's a heavy piece of rubber so I did this outside as glue kind of stinky but for this one and I left outside to dry them maybe for, for half an hour or so but for diamond paint and you you don't want to take it outside because immediately some dust will stick probably to your canvas so you want to do inside somewhere there is a ventilated area so you can have some fresh air and stuff like that so I thought if this is work for my rubber stamps let me just put this rubber back I would try to do the same thing for my um, diamond painting diamond painting canvas so what they did I'm just gonna move this little bit further here to the middle and we're gonna check it out my experiment okay guys I'm gonna zoom okay this is my diamond painting that I already told you guys that this seller doesn't have a full drill of this payment a painting but he still have partial so I don't know I don't like partial I like to work on a full area so anyway I'm gonna zoom to this corner because I put some of this glue on my canvas to see how it's gonna work so in this area you see that that's where I put this glue I didn't put everywhere you see it's not not sticking but it, I just did a little bit I see if I can zoom in even more okay oopsie hold on no okay 
It's gonna get blue blurry. Okay. Okay. So you probably can see a little bit. There's a. Um, let me grab a brush. So in this area, okay. In here, I put my um, tacky glue over and over, and as we see, it's sticking. You see the shiny glue up there. So now we're gonna try to put some drills on it. I'm gonna grab my diamond paintings from. Well, let me just pick this pretty blue, so it will be more visible. And I'm gonna get my drill pan. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna get my drill pan if it. Okay, so. Okay. I need a fresh. Fresh glue. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, where is my. Okay. Okay, I just need to pull out my wax. I left my. that I work with upstairs. So we're just gonna grab a new one. And we're gonna. Place it. Okay. I think it's in now. Okay. So we're gonna see how this gonna work. And I'm telling you, this is probably the best tip. You see that? I'm just gonna place wherever. And a sticky. Okay, so now as you see, they go nowhere. They stay where we put them. You see that? They will not come out. And it's sticky, it will stay sticky. Now, if you don't want them, they are easy to take them out even with your nails okay but they will stick I'm just gonna take them out and show you something else that's very important if you have like because I was worried if I put okay see the sneak under my nail okay it's not focusing see where intruder get out of here Okay, now that's the bead. Okay, so now we already know that the bead stick into it, it will stay. Now I, I wanted to see if this protective sheet will stick really hard to it. So I'm just gonna like push a little bit over. Um, okay, I'm just gonna like a bend and we're gonna see if this sheet will stick permanently to this glue or not. Okay, I rub it tight and boom, it's coming out. Now I want to see if the sheet will stick. You know how outside sheet can stick to your canvas really, really tight and pull all your uh, icons together with the glue. So I want to see if this glue will stick to actually to this other side or not. So I'm going to do again. No, it's coming out easy. So I think this is your solution for your diamond painting when it's lose the stickiness. Now I went to Amazon and I found exact same glue uh, on Amazon. And I will put link below in the description under this video because I know not everybody up there 
have craft store and for example if I would be right now in my country there's no way in the world I would find this glue in my stores it, there's not possible so if you US Canada yeah, you can find this glue uh, in Michaels probably Walmart even but um, if you guys who don't have the stores you can find the link below I will link Amazon has exact same and it's work perfectly and if you crafter use your rubber stamps it's work absolutely amazing as you saw already okay so I think that's gonna be your tip for today how to fix your canvas when it's not sticky anymore and I would say this is the most cheap solution because you buy this big how much is in here um, four four ounces or what is it FL I don't know what it is but ounces 118 milli, milliliter whatever it is so it's a lot of glue in here and you need only like a very thin layer and if you want to be make sure for your diamonds to stick you can put even second layer after it's uh, done drying so it dry pretty fast I would say like half an hour and you can put second coat if you want to but I I I don't know I think one coat is pretty much good it's same sticky if I would stick my finger to a real paint and canvas it feels the same so now if you have actually another tip for you if you have a um, whole bunch of beads left over from your diamond painting this is actually diamonds from my peacock I still didn't finish it um, you see how shiny so if you have a lots of diamond paintings left and you can do project for your kids. You can just grab in a um, store where, uh, like a staple store, like a paper store where you can buy your office goodies, stuff like that. They have the grid paper. You can put this glue over the grid paper. You can find the little squares. Well, let me see if I can find quickly right now. Um, okay. Okay, no guys, it's too, it's too far. My, my room is in disaster in here and I, I cannot pull it out right now. But you know what I mean? They have this uh, grid little squares almost same as diamond painting. If you can put this glue over the sheet, your kids can do their own design and use your leftovers glue. Or if you crafter, you make in a cards, you can make some, you know, gift card for somebody for birthday using your leftover beads. So that's it guys. This is my video for today. I hope you enjoy watching it and I appreciate all your comments. Let me know if this was helpful for you and you know if it can help just for one person it's make my day for sure. That's what I am and I'm just gonna go right now. I actually already shoot one more video for you but I need another video to do that video in my editing so it's kind of complicated but I need to be absolutely alone in my house by computer and it's not very often you can have that perfect time because there's somebody always running and yelling whatever it is cat dog you know husband kids so yes this is video short because I saw somebody posted yesterday on a Facebook problem with the canvas not being sticky and guys I'm still looking for this painting for you I contacted a couple of sellers and some ladies suggested me some sellers I check with them and they have this canvas but in partial and the size is almost like half of the size it would be like very very small and short not nearly to this size because this size is like 105 centimeters long and 56 I think width so this is huge one and I still looking for it. I did not forget about you I just don't have luck I already asked some people on Amazon if this is the painting I'm looking for I look on Aliexpress I'm looking on eBay 
So I'm still searching for this painting, but I have no luck yet. So for now, guys, I will say goodbye to you. Have a good day. And if you're not in my diamond painting group yet, please join. It's called Diamond Painting for All Ages. It's a really, really friendly group. We have lots of blasts, lots of tips, lots of shares. So you can learn lots from other ladies. And I appreciate you stick with me for this long. Okay, so as you see, it's tuck it over and over. Your problem is solved. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.